I want to call this campsite confessionals. Hope that the name's not taken, but we'll find out. <laughs> Maybe do a little search after this. So sorry if we stole your title, but this is called Campsite Confessionals. <laughs> and what I thought we would do is tell you some of our worst experiences camping. Um, funny now, but at the time, maybe not so much. The very first time Troy and I camped together, we were still dating. Um, we were, we had a pup tent. Um, we were, um, I, you know, I think we had one styrofoam cooler. Um, you know, we, we were very minimal. <laughs> we didn't have anything. And so we get to the campsite and it's like 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. And Troy is trying to start a fire and cannot get this fire started for anything. And so he's trying and trying and trying. We're hungry, we haven't eaten dinner yet. It's, you know, getting really late. And he finally gets the fire going. And me, being 19 year old, think, I think, that I, I think that I can help. And so I take my beer and I just pour it over the fire. You're kidding me, God! Just the <laughs> tiniest bit of flame that it took hours to get. <laughs> but it was there. And it was a start and it was going to be a beautiful fire and the look he gave me <laughs> i'm surprised you didn't break up with me then and there it was <laughs> just he was like threw in the towel threw up his hands he was like that's it let's go to my parents campsite yeah, fortunately they were nearby they had the camper <laughs> they had the food so so we walked over there and and we said please feed us i i didn't know what i was doing and i um put out our fire with beer thinking that alcohol would actually intensify the fire like I thought was a good idea but it was not so <laughs> so we've loved camping pretty much ever since we've been together um, for three years we lived in Albuquerque New Mexico and um, our very first camping experience there we had been invited to join some friends and go to the Hamas Mountains for Memorial Day weekend right mm -hmm. so Memorial Day weekend you know we're used to here in Indiana it's 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 nice it might be hot it might be kind of cool but you know we're not expecting anything extreme by any means so thinking we, we're gonna swim right right so you know we pack like we would have packed had we been camping Memorial Day weekend in Indiana and uh, so we're only driving like maybe 90 minutes north we're driving to the Hamas mountains um, not putting two and two together mountains um, and as we're driving we can see the mountains in the distance and we kind of looked at each other at one point we said is that snow at the top of those mountains because that's where we're going right we're going to the Hemis mountains and our campsite is up there and sure enough as we got closer we realized it was snow and um, so as we are pulling into the campground um, you know on a snow covered <laughs> um, campsite campsite yeah we, we realized how <laughs> ill prepared we were for that particular trip oh and I was pregnant like seven months pregnant seven months pregnant yeah yep. <laughs> so fortunately, the uh, the couple that we were going with, um, one of them was a pretty seasoned out outdoorsman and uh, had been can or hunting recently. So he had some gear, some gear, warm still, gear. And, yeah. So he was able to loan some of that to us and kept us warm. But uh, again, lessons learned. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of lessons learned along the way for us. <laughs> we've camped in all different seasons just about, um, and, and we've tent camped for years. So, you know, there have been plenty uh, fall nights where we've slept in, you know, hats and gloves and you've just cuddled up close trying to stay warm. Cold never bothered me anyway. Fall camping, we had left a, we like to make some cocktails. We had a, a cider, a cider with vodka and uh, we had left it sitting on the table outside and we had brought with us a small heater I believe um, that we could keep in the tent and we had that all hooked up outside with a power cord or a power strip and some sort of animal I'm gonna guess a raccoon ended oh, up knocking yeah. that um, crock pot off of the table directly onto the power strip and shorted it out so we yeah. ended up waking up in the middle of the night freezing cold yep and uh, once the cocktails wore off yeah cocktails wore <laughs> off and <laughs> took some detective work to piece that one together but that's, that's what we came up with the very first time that we had our camper um we <laughs> went to lake monroe and uh, we were lucky enough to get the camper from troy's parents um they sold to us gave us a great deal on the camper um didn't quite tell us though how to operate the camper so we were just kind of winging it you know still are still are winging it um but uh so we get to the campsite and we need to fill up the water tank because we don't have water on site this is the worst story yeah <laughs> 
and so we don't know we don't know where to get the water and so I see you know the dump station and I'm like oh well they have hoses you know let's pull up we can fill up our tank there and Troy's like I don't this doesn't feel right and I'm like it's fine it's fine <laughs> so we, we pull up stick the hose in the tank fill the whole thing up drive to the campsite as we're driving we see like a water fountain and a hose connector and Troy's like I feel like we should have filled up the tank <laughs> I feel like fresh there water. fresh water might be the route to go and so you ended up calling your dad didn't you yes. and you asked him and we found out that you should never use the water at the dump station it's actually the hose that people use to um, rinse out their sewer tanks their sewer hoses <laughs> So probably the most disgusting water you would ever want in your tank, and that was what we filled up our tank with the first time. So, so that was drained, lots of bleach, lots, lots of Filtering. disinfectant uh, <laughs> took place after that. So yeah, mm -hmm. lesson learned. Yeah, before we had all of our camping supplies, we would camp um, with just a styrofoam cooler. And um, we were at McCormick's Creek State Park, and um, in the middle of the night, some raccoons got into our cooler, stole all of our food. Do you remember that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a rookie mistake. It was... <laughs> rookie mistake. Put your cooler in your car or vehicle. Yeah. Uh, before you go to bed, trash is a good idea to put in your car or vehicle. Um, yeah, if it's too far to dump it somewhere, yep. at a dumpster. Yeah, put hide your, your food, because the animals will get it. So the next morning, we had to make a trip to the grocery store to get more food. We camped one time at your friend's house during college, and at the time we didn't think about putting a tarp down underneath our tent. Um, so later that night it ended up storming really bad, and we woke up at like three in the morning to like uh, several inches of water. Yeah, and we were just lying in it, sleeping in the in tent, it. just like <laughs> laying in the water. <laughs> but luckily we were at uh, some friend's house, so we ended up just like running into their house. <laughs> and staying the rest of the night <laughs> there. Um, but yeah, so those are just some of the mistakes that we've made. I'm sure there have been several others, <laughs> but um, we have made though an Amazon essentials list. Um, what we think are the camping essentials to have. Um, that includes tarps, coolers, um, some good Coleman products. Um, we are not um, a sponsor of any of these. We just really love them. We've used them forever. Um, they filled up. There are things, yeah, that we recommend um, having when you camp. Um, so I'll uh, put a link to um, where to find that list so that you can check out what we have and, and pick up anything that you think you might need. Okay. So. Wait, are we still rolling? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta make <laughs> sure again. <laughs>